going on? It's Andy. We are here with Field 3D and um, they have a huge booth at CES 2015 and I just want to show off some of their stuff. So here we go. Yes, of course you can. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing quality. Yeah. All right. They're a company based in Hong Kong called Hong Kong. Toy Zero Plus. And what they do is they um, they make these head sculpts, these 3D um, 3D printed head sculpts from um, scans. Okay. So we send three scans, um, or whoever has the 3D scanner sends three scans, one kind of from this angle, one yeah. straight on and one from there. Um, and then they model using ZBrush, uh, hand paint, hand finish them. And then they provide the model in a really nice presentation box. And then, because it's uh, designed as a 1-6 scale, mm -hmm. you can just buy any generic 1-6 scale doll and then move this between. So, you know, you could have Iron Man, you could have, you know, any of your famous, yeah. That and then, awesome. that's just interchangeable. <laughs> the, the, how do they print that? Do they actually, they don't print it, they, do they make a molding? Or? No, no, they use, um, we use like a resin printer oh, um, wow. to print it, um, and then they take a couple of weeks from you sending them the files. Two weeks later, the kind of model is there. It's all hand painted, all hand finished. That's hand painted, hand finished. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was thinking, no yeah, that was, yeah. It looks like a real head on your yeah. on your screen. So they print a uh, kind amazing. of in mono. It comes out as right. a kind of grey color, yeah, and yeah. then they hand, hand paint it. How much does that cost just to do, just for the head? To have it, uh, it's about 150 pounds, so it's about kind of close to $200. 200 USD, uh, just yeah, for the yeah. head? Yeah, for the head, yeah. And then you have I mean, to buy the one six so scale body. The one six scale body is about $10. You really? know, it's, it's really generic. Um, you can buy them anywhere. Um, they do some of the tailoring as well, if you want. If you have a favorite kind of scene, they've got loads of people in Hong Kong who want <laughs> Bruce Lee from Enter the Dragon. Right. All right, we are still here with Fuel 3D, and uh, looks like they have some prototype 3D scanning systems. Oh, this looks pretty amazing here. Light source scanner, scanner, light sources. What's going on? Can you tell me more about this system? It looks it's like a light light uh, carbon yeah, fiber. Yeah, two cameras. Two that cameras we use for stereo. And then sure. three flashes that we use for photometry. Okay. So we combine everything together and the reconstruction. So we are capturing six images in total in point one second. So it's that fast. Okay. So, but that's just a prototype. So the prototype that we are selling is that scanner. Okay. So it's a portable device. Yeah. yeah. It's just a handheld system you can hold yes. quite light. All but right. Has to be attached to our computer. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, you can see here some examples. All right. Looking at some examples of uh, fuel 3Ds, 3D scans. Now that only s captures a 180. Yes. Okay. So if you wa want to do the whole object, you have to capture multiple images all around the object, and multiple I have scans. And them uh, assemble them together? Yeah, assemble them together. We provide the software that does that. So assemble that together. Now, yeah. what is the maximum size I can scan with this unit? So this unit is meant for scanning objects that are located 40 centimeters away. Okay. So it's an area of an A4, more or less. So eight foot? A4, something like that. Something like this. Oh, eight, okay. That's the maximum size that you can scan. Yes. So about the size of a sheet of paper. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Now, what about the resolution, like the accuracy of that? What, how many microns are accuracy? 300 microns accuracy. 300 micron accuracy. So this is not ideal for scanning engineering parts or anything like that? No. Okay. I see. Okay. Well, I can just show you how it works. Okay. So it's trying to detect this target just to okay, yeah. get the distance right. Okay. So right means that we are too far. Too far, yeah. Why that we are too, too close. close. And then bring us the correct distance. That's it. That's it, okay. So we just save the data. Yep. Get transferred to the computer and start to do the processing. Okay, the then you get the next angle, right? Yes. Okay, so that's the first angle. What about the rest? So, so you just rotate the object. Take another scan, take the object, take another scan. Ah, I see. I so see. that's the scan that we just took. Well, 
That's from one scan? Yes, one single one. One single scan. Okay. And then, now, is it possible to combine multiple of your yes. units of your system together to shoot simultaneously? It cannot be simultaneously because we are using the location of the flashes. Uh, okay. So if you use another flash at the same time, it would confuse the system. Okay, so near simultaneous, like yeah. synchronized. Yeah, exactly. So we can shoot one, then another, then another. That should be possible. Okay. And then combine it all together. Yes. Okay. That should be possible. Gotcha. But still, the max size is uh, eight, about this size right here. Yeah. So that's why we have that prototype there. Okay. That's for capturing larger areas. Larger areas. So we have stronger flashes over there, and then the yeah, the, the distance between the, the lenses are is larger. Okay. To help us capture larger areas. So that's like mm -hmm. for capturing the top of the body, like this. Okay. I see. Uh, okay. I never understood how that works. Now I do. Okay. So it's a. It captures an image yeah. with depth sensors and everything else. Yeah. And then you have multiple images and then you combine it together to yeah. make the full 3D model. Yeah, exactly. Uh, got it. Got it. This feel 3D, Scanify. You guys have made huge waves with that machine, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. For instance, this scan of that object. Okay. So we capture six scans. Yeah. All around the object. Six we scans. Com we combine them all together, and then uh -huh. another one from the top. Okay. So seven in total, and then we just print it. Got it. So, so yeah, for this one we were using shapeways. Shapeways. Okay. Yeah. So and we have the same model printed with the M core. M core. Ultra Maker. Okay. Got it. Then you've made a mug from it too. Yeah, well, that's something else. Something like. different, similar. Yeah. Okay, got it. Cool. So yeah, if you want the technical specifications, that's here. Okay. So that's the problem we are selling. All the specification, all the file format, resolution, the amount of mm -hmm. vertices, and that's the price. That is the scanner plus the software. I see. Okay. Doing the reconstruction. Okay. Great. All right, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. It's feel 3D, and um, my impressions, uh, not as impressed with it as I thought it would be, honestly. Um, I thought it was more of a scanning system, but it looks like it's an image uh, capturing system, but it does capture the depth of the scan, uh, but you do have to take multiple scans of this object and then assemble it back in with their software to get the 3D model. So, as far as engineering purposes, it probably isn't the best thing for capturing people, um, spaces, maybe. Um, but then you do have to do multiple scans, so they have to do, they have to stand very still for that to happen. Um, and also, the scanning size is relatively small, so there may be some limitations uh, what what you can do with uh, the field 3D. Um, but as far as their PR marketing, they're doing a great job. Um, they have a pretty huge booth. Um, but as far as usability, I'm not sure how well that's going to work. But uh, who knows? It's just my thoughts. So, until next time. So, yeah.